San Antonio's most accurate forecast for zone weather. Well, we have a new segment here that we call News for Nature. We've mm -hmm. been doing that for a little bit, just kind of telling people about different stuff. People are wanting to prepare their yards for the summer months. They want to know what they should be doing to ensure that they have a great looking lawn. The more natural way to do this would be to get a bag of compost or, or an uh, organic fertilizer to apply onto the yard. And this will allow the yard to promote healthy, beneficial organisms and provide growth and deep root systems and allow the, the grass to grow and become more drought torn as the summer comes in. Well, when you put compost in the ground, it becomes like a sponge. And so as summer comes in and the compost is on the yard, it causes a cooling effect for one thing. And secondary, as you're watering, this becomes a sponge and holds water microscopically. Well, if we use chemical fertilizers, which are typically about 90% salt, salt kills life. So if we put microbes in the ground and then we just say, well, I'm going to go back and buy a certain brand of fertilizer that has typical salt in it, we just destroyed everything we worked for uh, to make the yard better. The long run is that you've reduced your salt in the yard, which is what is killing off our beneficials in the first place. So that automatically you help the environment tremendously. How much compost, how thick a compost should I put on my yard? I just like to start off at a quarter inch in the beginning and apply a quarter inch every 60 days throughout the summer. That is the natural way to do it, the best way I think to do it anyway. So, 